Good morning, everyone. Welcome to NCU Scholarship and well Admission Information Session. Today's session, we will divide it into two parts. The first part will be the introduction of National Central University of Taiwan. The second part will be the college introduction. Each college representative, they are going to present their own college to you. And then in each presentation of the college, they also invite their students to share their academic life with you guys. So you can have more clear pictures about the life in NCU also in Taiwan. And then before I started to introduce NCU, we also invite two international students. One is Papi from the Indonesia, and the second one is Steve from the Vietnam to share their life in NCU or also in Taiwan with you. Okay, so my name is Novia and I was a uh, program manager of Office of International Affairs, National Central University in Taiwan. And I was the person who is in charge of international student admissions. So it means that if you have any questions about admissions, so you can email me anytime so I can return the page, <laughs> answer your questions to you. Okay, so the first page will be like the pictures of our school. And today's contents, where I will introduce the NCU and also sports and supports and activities for international students, some information about missions, information about scholarship, and then two of our students will share their experience. And the last part will be QA. Okay, so where we are, and National Central University is located in Taiwan. So where's Taiwan? Here's the map of the East Asia. You can see the Green Island with the that is circled. So we are right next to China, but we are also closer to the Vietnam and also Indonesia and also Philippines. It takes around like three or four hours by plane. And then I'll give you some information about Taiwan. The area is like 36,000 square kilometers. It's actually quite small. And then population is like 23 million. And language, we speak Mandarin, which is Chinese, Taiwanese, Hakka, and other language, languages. And we have the religions like Buddhism, Taoism, Christianity, and, and some Muslims. The temp, the weather is quite mild. The average temperature is 22 Celsius degrees. Then the highest temperature is around 38 Celsius degrees in the summer. And the lowest temperature will be 10 Celsius degrees. And I'll give you some reasons why the international students would love Taiwan. The first one is that people in Taiwan actually follow the rules. And then we have a lot of traditions and cultures and they all enjoy it. And we, the food here is actually quite good. <laughs> so later our students will maybe explain some, get, tell you how food will be really delicious in here. And then the environment in Taiwan is quite clean and neat. And the people are here is quite nice and passionate. They are really help, uh, friend, friendly to the foreigners. And also if you are a girl, the, the actually is quite safe in Taiwan. So you don't have to get scared when you go outside alone at night. And now we're, I'm going to tell you where is the NCU. We are actually located in Taoyuan. It's actually the county next to Taipei and it's takes like one hour train from Taoyuan to Taipei. And then it takes on like only 20 minutes by taxi from the Taiwan, Ta Taiwan Taoyuan International Airport. So we're actually lo located in Northern tai Taipei, uh, Taiwan. So if you want to go to Taipei during the weekend, it's quite convenient for you to go by the lot of things like MRT and also Taiwan High Speed Rail and also local train. So our location is quite nice for the compared to the other university in other parts of Taiwan. And I'll give you some profiles about the NCU. We're actually established at 1915, and our ranking on QA's world ranking will be 465. And according to the Google Scholar Citation, we're actually ranked three in Taiwan. According to US News and World Report, we're actually four in Taiwan. Right now we have 1,100 professors and researchers. And we 
each student we will spend like 13,000 USD dollars on each student, which is quite a lot. It means that we invest a lot of resources on the research and also the lifetime time of students. Right now we have eight faculties. So later we will, each college will introduce themselves. And 23 departments, now about the graduate program is for 41 PhD and 48 master. The student body is 12,000, which is quite small to compare to other university. But we are small, but the ratio between undergraduate and graduate is one plus, a uh, one to one. So it means we are actually research oriented university. Currently we have 273 partner universities around the world. So the students can actually do exchange or double degree program or also short term internship program with the other university around the world. Okay, as we said that according to the US News World Report, we are actually ranked four in Taiwan. So, and then according to the, to the ranking, we are the best global uni uh, uh, university rankings of international collaborations. So it means our professors are actually actively working with the university around the world to do the research and also maybe publish the papers. So later on you can check the uh, uh, introduction of each college to see which program you are actually interested in. Okay, now we have 875 students in total. And among them, like around 600 of the international students. And then among these 600, we have one uh, 216 students from Indonesia and 200 students from Vietnam and then 44 from Indonesia. As you may see, many of the students are actually from the uh, East Asia especially Indonesia and Vietnam. And now I'm going to give you the titles of the college with the liberal arts, science, engineering, management, electrical, engineering, and computer science, earth science, Hakka studies, health science, and technology. Each of the college will do their own presentation. So if you want to know more about them, please check out our website, check out our broadcast, check out our life they're going to do the introduction of this one. The tuition fee part. In NCU, uh, we divided the payments into basic tuition fee and also credit fee. The amount of the tuition fees from 1740 to the 880 is around 900 USD dollars per semester. And for each critic, it costs like 100 USD dollars per critic. It depends how many credits you take. So times the USD do, uh, times the 100 USD dollars equals the credit fee you're going to pay for the, this semester. And then in NC we provide on-campus dormitory. It will be a shared bedroom. It's like two people or four people. And we do have the desk, closet, hanging fans, air conditioner, and internet access. We also have the kitchen, but you can only microwave, uh, you can only heat the food. We have the microwave and also the refrigerators if you want to store your food inside. <laughs> and then we also have off-campus dormitory. Usually it will be a single bedroom, but you can share with your friends. They also have the desk, chair, closet, bed, air conditioning, individual bathroom and internet access. So if you stay on the on-campus dormitory, you have to share bathroom with the others. But if you stay on the off-campus dormitory, you can you can have your individual bathroom, and then the distance to the university will be around five minutes, five to min five to ten minutes walk. So it's actually quite near. You don't have to take other transportations to from your off-campus dormitory to the NCU. So it's quite nice. As the dormitory fees, we're, I'm not going to do it, go to the details. Later, we're going to have a chart to estimate how many payments, how much payments you're going to pay per year. Okay, and then for the on-campus activities for the international students, in the beginning of each new semester, semester here means six months, 
In Taiwan, we divided the academic year into two semesters. Each semester is like around six months. So beginning of the new semester, it will usually be the September or the February. Uh, our students were arranging a welcome party for, to welcome international students to join us. And then a few weeks before the semester ends, we also have the final party. So you can actually interact with other international students and also the Taiwanese local students. And uh, we also arranged the culture trip to the traveling spot, the famous traveling spot in Taiwan. These are the photos. And then we also have the sport day, so we will invite the international students to go parade, to wear their traditional costumes to do the parade. And we also have some cultural events, like here is the Sherlin party making spring rolls for the Qingming festivals. And if so, you can actually learn some cultures from, uh, from our activities. And we also have the International Students Association. We have the Indonesia, uh, we have the student association from Indonesia, from Vietnam, and from India. And each year they are going to have their own culture day to show their cultures to the Taiwan's local students and also have uh, kind of interaction with them with here. And these are the photos about the activities they hold before. And for the Muslim students, we have the player room in the NSU campus. These are the photos of the player rooms for your references. Okay, so I'm going to talk about the information and admissions. All the applications will be submitted online. This is our website. And we have two entries. One is the fall semester entry. The other one will be spring semester entry. Right now it's uh, application period for our spring term. And uh, so it will be ended in the end of October. And then for the fall semester it will be ended, it will be started from January to March next year. So if you are interested in our university, you can check our website. And um, here's my contact information. Or you can actually follow us on the Facebook, it's NCUIS Dream. We will post the articles about NCU or about Taiwan like three times a week. So if you want to know more about information about Taiwan or NCU, you can actually follow us on Facebook. Okay, so I'm going to tell you the details about application documents. About the required documents, we need to check your academic qualifications. So you have to submit the official degree certificate and transcript of your previous degree. And also we need to see your proof of nationality. If you are the Taiwan citizen, you are not allowed to apply NCU as the international students. And we also have additional documents required by the departments or institute like autobiography, study plan, research proposal, re recommendation letters, uh, English proficiency evidence or Chinese proficiency proof and related academic publication. This is only the list, but none of them, it could be re required or it could be optional documents. So here's the procedure. Uh, the I office will make sure, uh, some, for the students, please make sure you're qualified to apply as international students. If you are not sure, please contact us. We will tell you whether you can apply as an international student or not. Okay, so check the application handbook first to check the departments or graduate institute for which you are intended to apply are open for international student or not. Spring intake only for the graduate program only. So if, if you are interested in undergraduate or bachelor degree program, you can only apply for the full entry. And then you have to complete the application online the, it's actually quite easy. You fill in the online information, a recommendation letters, and then upload all, all the required application documents. Please note that you should ask the, uh, your professor, your previous professor, or your supervisor of your company to write the recommendations. You should not find the NCU professors to write the recommendation letters because they don't know you. Okay. So after complete the application online, you are going to receive an email from IELTS office to see whether you are qualified to apply or not. And if you have any documents makes the lacking or something, we will also inform you as well. Okay, then I'm going to explain 
the very important part for you <laughs> is about a scholarship. Uh, there are actually several scholarships for you to apply as an international student. The first one will be Taiwan Scholarship. It is actually provided by our government. So the duration will be like, for if your undergraduate will be maximum is four years, if your master will maximum will be two years, if your PhD student maximum will be three or four years. It depends which source you got. The value is from 500 to 1,000 USD per month. And then the tuition fee and credit fee may be waived because if you get the um, scholarship from supported from the Ministry of Science and Technology and also Ministry of Foreign Affairs, you need to pay your own tuition fee and credit fee. But how can you find the information about that is visit the website of Taiwan Embassy or representative office at your home country for detailed information for application procedure. And we also have a special uh, program from the academic senior, Sinica, Taiwan International Graduate Program. We will call it T, uh, TIGP program. The duration is only, uh, they only allowed PhD students to apply. So the maximum will be three years and the value will be 1,200 per month. And recipients can only enroll in these programs like more molecular science and technology, earth system science and interdisciplinary neuroscience of NCU. And now we are going to introduce another two scholarship. One is the NCU scholarship, which is like most of the students will receive it from. Uh, how can we review your qualification? We will review it according to your academic performance. Uh, for the master students, it's up to 750 per month. For a PhD student, it's like 12,000 per month. And the credit fee, a tuition fee and credit fee can be waived. So it will be like a full scholarship, but not including the dormitory fee. And also uh, wrong way, uh, the tickets, the flight tickets. And we also we can also help you to apply for the Ministry of Education Elite Scholarship if you are the current university lecturers. We will ask you to submit a teacher certificate. So you have to prove us to, to us that you are the current and permanent lecturer from the university that the Ministry of Education assigned. So the value you are going to get like 800 per month for the graduate students. In more time will be like four for the next year. So if you are qualified, it means you are a lecturer right now and you are interested in, you can contact me before the before this day, so I can help you to apply for the scholarship of this scholarship. And now I'm going to give you a chart, like how much money you're going to spend in the NCU. Uh, you can go to details by yourself, and then uh, the tuition fee and credit fee. The total uh, will be like USD, like 4,000. The internet, books, and insurance will be like 4,000 USD. The meals and housing and others will be around 25,000 to 35, sorry, 2,500, sorry. 2,500 and 3,500. So the total expense will be this amount. So if, but if you are the recipients of the NCU scholarship, it means that you don't have to pay the tuition fee, you don't have to pay the credit fee, and plus we will give you the stipend from 4,000 to 6,000. So, so you, if you cut down the expense, you're going to have some, some money for you to live at, at Taiwan. So you don't really, you don't really need to worry about too much about your living stipends. The money we give you can help you to survive, but you can, but we cannot support you to have a really wonderful life in Taiwan. Okay, here I list ten questions that I usually receive from the applicants. The first one will be: I'm in the process of finishing my last semester, therefore I haven't yet receive my diploma. Can I still apply it? Yes, you can, but during the application, you need to submit a certificate from your university for forthcoming graduation. It means that you have to tell us when you are going to graduate or when you are going to get your final degree certificate. 
If I only have the provisional diploma and I'm waiting for the degree certificate, can I apply it? Yes, but you still need to give us a statement later issued by your university graduate from to state the time when you're going to get an official degree certificate while applying. And the third question will be, is it required to submit the degree certificate and transcript verified by the Taiwan Embassy or representative office to complete the application? No, so, but, you can, but you need to upload the degree certificate and transcript in English. This is really important. The no, question four, can I apply more than one program? Yes, you can. Each applicant can apply up to three programs. Does the NCO charge the application fee for submitting the application? No. So that's why we have a lot of students who apply for us. And then sixth question is, can I apply, can I send my application by emails or fax? No. You need to upload all the documents to the website. We're not going to receive any application by emails or fax or by post. Don't send it to us. And then question seven, can I submit the recommendation later by email or can I upload the recommendation later to the system directly? No, the recommendation letter should be uploaded and completed by the recommenders. Only it means the people who actually write the recommendation letters for you. So you cannot submit it to us directly. <coughs> okay, question eight, how to apply for NCO scholarship? Actually, it's quite easy. Just click yes on the part of the NCU scholarship application while you register online, and that's it. No need to submit other application documents for the scholarship. What does it mean? What does the tuition and credit fee waiver mean? The tuition waiver awards covers your basic tuition fee and also credit fees. However, you still need to pay other fees such as dormitory insurance and some campus facilities. Please note that the tuition fee only covers the fall and also spring semester and will not cover the summer program, summer sem semester. So it means that you will, if you need to take the courses in the summer, you need to pay the payments by yourself. And what is the percentage, percentage of winning the NSU scholarship? Mm -hmm. Well, it's quite high, over 90, it could be 95 admin students will be awarded NCU scholarship. So it means you should be accepted by all program. It means you need to apply and get acceptance from all departments. So your scholarship application will be considered. So acceptance is more important than your, uh, it's more important for you to get the scholarship. This is the end of the, my introduction of the NCU. And later I'm going to introduce one of our friends, <laughs> one of our students. <laughs> Miss Poppy? Hi. She's going, to uh, she's going to share her life in Taiwan and in NC with you. Okay. Hi, I'm Fania Popolandari, so you can call me Poppy. And I'm studying PhD or doctoral degree in mechanical engineering. So now is my second year or third semester as a PhD student. Then I have been in Taiwan almost three and a half years and I never go back to Indonesia since I came here February 2018. In spring semester, I came here to study master degree and I graduated 2020 and continued to study PhD. So when I apply master degree here, I got information from my friend. She is student in NCU and then same department with, with me. So besides, Taiwan is one of destination country to pursue my study because as I know that Taiwan is the country which is good technology and engineering fields and there are so many industrial in Taiwan. And I know the application of admission in NCU. There are two kinds. First, some professor will come to Indonesia and then interview directly to some campus like uh, ITB, UGM, UB. And then after that, the second system is the, you can apply directly to the website. Yeah, I apply the second one, <laughs> apply to the website. Okay. And then it's really easy, just upload some documents and then you don't need to upload like a Chinese language certificate and something like that. Then I got a announcement from the Office of International Affairs in 2017 early of December as I remember. Mm -hmm. Then I accepted as NCU student and I got a scholarship from NCU International Scholarship and also name of my professor. So I will tell you a little bit about my laboratory. So my laboratory is about 
diagnostic and prognostic measurement. So my professor name is Pan Min Chun. He is my advice, advisor during my master and then um, as I know that in the engineering you have so many boys and then yeah only four girls including me in my lab so I'm so happy and then they are so kind helpful and then they are willing to speak with me in English and sometimes they also teach me to speak in Chinese and I think Taiwan and NCU is good place and comfortable especially in NCU mm -hmm. we can see so many beautiful scenery in front of the main gate <laughs> <laughs> yes. and also if you have any problem the OIA staff, staff will help you to uh, give some Suggestion? Suggestion like the administration, scholarship, and other things. And also, IA all, uh, provide some Indonesian activity like the Indonesian Cultural Days and then Muslim activities. Oh, so kind, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and also, if you come to Taiwan, you um, it's easy for you, especially for Muslim, to get a halal food and related to the muslim friendly environment so if you want to apply in ncu you need to update the latest information on oia website department and then the lab website so you can know that uh, is it good or no you apply the laboratory and also the advisor so you can also contact indonesian student association for further information related to indonesian student life in ncu thank you Thank you, Pony. <laughs> okay. It's quite detailed. <laughs> <laughs> Next one, well, I'm going to invite Steve to share his life in NCU and also in Taiwan. Okay. Good day, everyone. My name is Bo Trung Hiu. I'm an international student who graduated from Control University in Vietnam. I'm currently a first year PhD student of Chemical and Material Engineering Department at National Central University. Uh, as you as you listen, as the story of Miss Puppy is very detailed, so I'm going <laughs> to talk sort of about my story. Okay, it's a pleasure to be a part of today's meeting. So let's talk about my journey to National Central University. So in my second year of university, my seniors informed me about the short-term exchange program in Taiwan. So through the introduction of Professor Pui, Dean of College of Natural, Natural Science, I successfully joined the research group of Professor C. Laboratory. So during my time at NCU, I met other Vietnamese students and knew about the information about the scholarship for graduate degrees. So after returning to Vietnam, I graduated from chemistry and successfully applied for a master program in chemical and material engineering department at NCU. And about the admission and scholarship, they are not really complicated and many parts can be done online. The Office of International Affairs, OIE, will provide required, in, required information on their websites or through emails. And they always support you with the documents or issues. So at first, I chose NCU because it is one of the top universities in Taiwan. But after two years in this university, I realized that NCU is better than my imagining. So besides the expand in the education system, the university offers the scholarship, and my mentor also provides the salary that can cover the living expense and tuition. So I can fully focus on my study and research. So if you are looking for a place where you can develop all aspect of yourself, National Central University is the top choice. Uh, thank you, Steve, for give us a clear and pictures about the life in NCU also in Taiwan. Now let us get to the QA part. Due to the COVID-19, can we enter Taiwan or just online learning? As I said before, we do not provide the online learning or any virtual programs, so you need to enter Taiwan. And uh, as the international degree students, yes, you can enter Taiwan and we will give you the details information about how you're going to get the game to Taiwan and also the quality policy as well. A third one will be, um, how can I get the letter of acceptance from NCU if I plan to apply for the Taiwan scholarship? If you plan to apply for the Taiwan scholarship, they are going to ask you to submit one paper from the US. So once you complete the Taiwan scholarship, application, please email me. It means that please contact the IR office. I will give you a letter to 
prove you that you also complete the application of the NCU. So this later will help you to apply for the Taiwan scholarship. Okay, now the next, qu next question is, the recommendation later is one of the required documents and recommendation later from whom is meant? Are the lectures or professors from university where I'm taking my undergraduate degree or from the NCU university where I want to take the master degree? Um, we do not recommend you to get the uh, recommendation later from the NCU professor because they, I think they don't know you. So you need to get the recommendation letters that completed by the professors or from your previous degree or also some supervisors from your company to tell us what people you are and what kind of accomplishment you have completed or not or, or something like that. It's, a, it's all about you. So do not seek the recommendation letters from the NCU professors. Okay, so last question because due to the time limit, so I'm going to, the last question will be how is the housing situation within or near the campus? Uh, as I mentioned in my previous uh, introduction, if you're going to, uh, within the campus, if you're going to stay on, on campus dormitory, it will be a shared room. It's around two people or four people, but you have to share the bathroom with others. So if you wanna, but it's quite clean and neat and cheap compared to the off-campus dormitory. So, but if you stay off-campus dormitory, usually the type will be like a studio. That you all have your own bathroom, you have your bathroom, but only, and also you can, I don't think you can cook, but you, yeah, maybe you can cook <laughs> on the off-campus Dormitory. Yeah, I think, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. I'm cooking. Right. So, if you really miss the food of your home country, you can choose the off campus dormitory. Okay, so thank you for staying with us until now. This is the end of the introduction of the National Central University in Taiwan. And next coming up will be the info session of the College of Liberal Arts. So stay tuned for more information about NCU. See you then. Bye-bye.